Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. We're here with Coco and we are obviously outside. Today is perfect weather outside. It's not too hot and not too cold. So we're going to be taking Coco out shopping with us. So we're gonna take him shopping for veggies and all his special needs. And we're gonna take you along just to show you how Coco hangs out with us when we take him shopping. Say hi, Coco. Oh, he missed you guys. So before we go, just make sure you guys hit the subscribe button down below, like the video, go check out all of our other videos. We're gonna be uploading as much as we can. We love showing you Coco in his daily routine or whatever we do in the day. But today we're gonna take him out and we're gonna show you how we take him out. So when we take him out, we put him in a special backpack. It's a small backpack, special pet carrier, but we do not keep them there for too long. We usually move him, put him inside the car when we take him to the grass. So. Please, Nati, show us the backpack. This is the backpack. It's a pet carrier. It has many holes and meshes on the side, so it's completely breathable for him. And it has a bubble for him to look out. It is also not too visible for the sunlight so that he doesn't, you know, get scared or get too hot or too cold. He feels very comfortable in there and he's not very scared. Um, it also has special padding inside so he doesn't pee or poop in there. So let's put him in there and let's head on out. Turn around. Look at, look at, look at. Come on, Coco, peek out. He's like, no, I just want to be in the dark right now. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna put him in the back seat of the car with the backpack. Okay, guys. So this is how we put Coco in the car. We always put a seatbelt on for his safety. driving now to the grocery store. Um, it is a very good grocery store. All of their stuff is mostly organic, fresh. Um, you always want fresh and organic stuff, non-GMO for your rabbit when you give him his veggies and his greens because you never know what kind of stuff they put in it. It could be dangerous for your rabbit, for his digestive system. You always have to wash your stuff three times so the pesticides can go away. You just don't want to put your bunny in danger. So I always recommend having organic stuff, fresh ones, everything healthy for your rabbit even though they are vegans and vegans are very healthy so we just want to make sure we do that and um, we always get him parsley that's the biggest thing we get him he loves parsley and we get him a little bit of fruits other veggies that are also good for them but we can't give them in bulks so you know apples bananas all those little things so we're gonna show you when we go into the store exactly what we pick out for him and he's gonna be there actually picking it out on his own because Coco's a very picky bunny out the window with me guys so excited probably he's like i love being outside coco's ready to eat all his veggies he's gonna get today it's always much easier for your rabbits to get used to being outside the more you take them out they might be scared at first but it's always good to get them used to it if you don't get them used to it they'll be completely house bunnies and they'll get lazy so when you take them out more they feel more comfortable being outside coco is not scared of being outside at all because i take him out all the time and if you want to get your bunny used to it, just try taking them out for a few minutes a day. Possibly when it's not too hot or not too cold, just good temperature for your bunny. Okay, so we have finally reached our destination. This grocery store is one of our favorites. It is pet friendly and they all love Coco in there. We have a few friends that are cashiers in there that always love to pet Coco when we get up there with their veggies. They even give him some snacks in there while we're shopping around. They just really love him. All right, let's go in.
on the cart so that his feet don't hurt because it is a cart and also to make him feel a little bit cozy so that he doesn't get freaked out. Coco's favorite Okay, Coco, we're in your favorite food section. Start taking your picks. Um, I think this is the wrong section. Oh, right, that's right. Coco's a rabbit. He's vegan. Sorry, Coco. Let's go to the actual spot. For pets, Coco loves wheatgrass. I put it next to his litter box. He likes to chew on it while he uses it. Here, Coco. Where's your wheatgrass? See, look at that. He already wants it. Look how excited Coco is. He's standing up. He's looking around. He loves this place. What else do you want, Coco? We got your wheat grass, we got your parsley, we got your kale, we got you some carrots. Ooh. The best thing you can do for your bunny is to get organic strawberries. Coco, look, your favorite. Are you excited, Coco? He's so excited. I tell you, he loves coming here. He's look. so excited all the time. Look at he's about to open the box. Do you want strawberries, Coco? Here, I'll give you one. We're gonna buy it anyways. Let me open one for you. <laughs> wait, wait. Here, have one. Coco wants all the strawberries. You can have it. I'll put it right there for you. He loves strawberries. Strawberries is his favorite snack, along with carrots. He's so excited. Are you excited? We're getting all your food. Oh. Again, he's eating the strawberries. Coco loves, loves, loves his strawberries. So I'm paying now. I'm gonna pay and take it to the cars. All the food for Coco.
Justin. Okay, Coco, let me put the bag in here. Move. Thank you. Are you excited? Are you excited? Are you excited for your food? He's so excited. He loves his parsley. He loves his kale. And everything came out to $10.80, I believe. We did get a bunch of stuff. This food is probably going to last him for about a week, maybe a week and a half. Okay everyone, we're back to our house and I'm going to start washing his food and placing it in his bowl for tonight's dinner. I'm just going to show you how I wash it and how I'm going to put it in here really quick. And that's pretty much what I do for his bowl. I have parsley, I have kale, I have a few pieces of small baby carrot, and I put one strawberry in there. Look how pretty it is. I would eat it if I was a rabbit. Yummy, yummy, yummy. And along with his salad, I'm going to also be refilling his pellet food, which is menu by vita craft he loves this i put about one maybe two three cups inside for him and it lasts him all night so i'm gonna fill it up right here has a bunch of good stuff in there for his teeth for dental it trims his teeth well and it has some good snacks for him so i put that much for him and i keep that amount for about two days it lasts him and i also use filtered water for him because it is much safer for them. You don't want anything nasty out of the sink for them. So I refill that. And that is his other pellet food and his water along with his delicious salad. And this is gonna be enough for tonight and maybe a little bit in the morning for tomorrow. Coco, why is your paw in your food bowl? He said no. <laughs> Coco, do you like your food? He likes it so much that he has his hands inside his food bowl. Coco, eat your veggies. Those are more important. Coco's obsessed with his pellets. I think that's what he likes the most. He usually eats his veggies later at night. Look at, look at, look at. Oh my god. Why are you so aggressive with your food, Coco? Are you that hungry? Yummy, yummy. Looks so good. <laughs> Thank you everyone for watching our video today. Make sure you guys also like this video and subscribe to our channel. We will be making more videos, so stay tuned. Turn on your notification buttons. Thank you for supporting us, following us, growing our family. We all love you. Coco loves you. Just thank you. Bye, guys. See you soon.